matrices are of fundamental importance in 3D math, where they are primarily used to describe the relationship between two coordinate spaces. They do this by defining a computation to transform vectors from one coordinate space to another. Welcome to Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. In linear algebra, a matrix is a rectangular grid of numbers arranged into rows and columns. Recalling our earlier definition of vector as a one-dimensional array of numbers, a matrix may likewise be defined as a two-dimensional array of numbers. A vector is an array of scalars, and a matrix is an array of vectors. The matrix variable is denoted by a capital letter, and the elements are in lower cases and close in brackets. The arrangement of elements are in specific columns and rows where each are notated usually as i, j, and k. Focusing on the entry, each element has its own designation and it is written as a subscript. The first number denotes the row and the second is the column. Again, some references would write it as element A with subscript i, j. The size of a matrix is denoted by the number of elements in the row by the number of elements in its column. Just as we define the dimension of a vector by counting how many numbers it contained, we will define the size of a matrix by counting how many rows and columns it contains. An M by N matrix has M rows and N columns. Always, the rows would come first followed by the columns. For instance, a 2 by 1 matrix would have 2 rows and a column. Another is a 3 by 4 matrix, which would be expected to have 3 rows and 4 columns. And another is a 5 by 5 matrix, which would contain 5 rows and 5 columns, thereby having 25 elements. When discussing size and appearance, matrices can be classified as follows. First, the square matrix. This type of matrix has the same number for both its rows and columns. Examples are 2 by 2, 3 by 3, and 4 by 4 matrices. The diagonal elements of a square matrix are those elements where the row and column index are the same. For example, the diagonal elements of the 3 by 3 matrix A are A sub 11, A sub 22, and A sub 33. The other elements are non-diagonal elements. The diagonal elements form the diagonal of the matrix. If all non-diagonal elements in a matrix are zero, then the matrix is a diagonal matrix. A special diagonal matrix is the identity matrix. The identity matrix of dimension n, denoted as I sub n, is the n by n matrix with ones on the diagonal and zeros elsewhere. Matrices may have any positive number of rows and columns including one. We have already encountered matrices with one row or one column. They are vectors. A vector of dimension n can be viewed either as 1 by n matrix or as an n by 1 matrix. A 1 by n matrix is known as a row vector, and an n by 1 matrix is known as the column vector. Row vectors are written horizontally and column vectors are written vertically. Until now, we have used the two notations interchangeably. Indeed, geometrically they are identical and in most cases the distinction is not important. However, for reasons that will soon become apparent, when we use vectors with matrices, we must be very clear about whether our vector is a row or column vector. 